Hey everybody, Mark Arnstein, me Max Hallmark, and of course, livingnorthtoronto.com. Today is vlog number 29, and today we're talking about is the real estate bubble in Toronto <clears throat> gonna burst? So I think the answer to that question is emphatically no. And if you remember from our vlog from last week, we talked about you know, making sense whether people talk about this idea of wanting to sell now, cash out, and then going into rental and holding on and making sure that, you know, they're ready to buy back in again when the market comes down this crazy 20, 30, 40%. So over history, like I said earlier last week, in the 16 years that I've been in Toronto, the only time I've seen the market actually slow down a bit was in 2008, 2009, when we had the financial crisis from the United States. And even then, in this lovely phenomenal area of North Toronto, we saw the prices actually just stay flat. They didn't go up, they didn't go down, they kind of stayed flat. So instead of like a house selling in a week or two weeks, a house would sell in a month or maybe even two months. So a couple of things are happening right now. We still have massive demand because of the fact that people are still frustrated with lockdown and they want to do that upgrade. They want to get into more space. If they're going to have to be stuck working from home, they want to cash out right now and do that change and do the upgrade because the cost and the money right now is so cheap. And like I said last week, the money has never been cheaper than it is right now and probably won't ever be cheaper than it is right now ever again. So people are trying to take advantage of that and get in with these really super cheap interest rates. So that being said, if the market is going <clears> to <throat> burst, then what we have to see happen is interest rates have to come up quite dramatically. And the thing is, for that to happen, it's gonna cost you more to buy then than it will cost you to buy today. Even though theoretically, you are paying more money for that house today because of the way the market's going, but the cost to borrow on that money is so cheap. And what it allows you to do is have really lower interest rate payments and paying less interest over the course of the term of the mortgage. The other factor coming into this right now is the amount of immigration that's coming into Canada and especially in Toronto, which is the one that has the largest, highest immigration rates of all the entire country, is that because of COVID, it's not happening. So there's gonna be eventually all this massive immigration coming back into the city for an investment, and that's gonna create more demand and more pressure on the market. So in fact, what I think is gonna actually happen is the market might come down, might stabilize, and might kind of flat out a little bit, but to see this dramatic pop, I just don't really see it happening. But if you want more information, you want to chat more about it, feel free to DM, text, whatever works best for you. Always happy to chat. Remember, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And like I always say, stay safe, stay positive. This is going to end soon. I know it's coming. Take care, everyone. We'll talk to you again next week. Bye.